Zani. Say hi. This is Miss Zaya Bear. They were up today. Usually I kind of wake them up. So Miss Zaya Papaya. I am going to go grab them some shorts out their closet because their dress, Zakaya's dress is a little short. So I'm just going to throw them on some um, little shorts from H&M. Okay, girls, it's time to get up. I'm gonna put those on, okay? Those are shorts. Orange. Yes, good job, Pooh. Orange. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So Friday and I wanted to do a day in the life of a working mom of two and right now I'm just I already logged into my computer I do that right when I wake up um it does take like five to ten minutes to actually log into my computer completely because I have to do my VPN then I have to actually log into my Citrix and then I'm in so yeah let's see what these motherfuckers have to say today and y'all my job y'all i just don't like when people point out when you do something wrong and it's not even wrong like if that makes sense so yeah i don't appreciate that so let's see okay so i kind of just run through my emails real quick just to see if we have pcw time or if it was canceled or whatever the case may be since it was not canceled I'm good to go i just go ahead and pull everything up and i would show y'all but i don't want to get fired even though i don't like my job i'm not gonna get fired <laughs> so let's see so right now i'm getting that pulled up and then at nine o'clock i have pcw time so um my kids will just come out of their chair so they only get to sit in their chair for like 30 25 minutes and then um yeah so yesterday i left work early so i was checking my email to see if they sent me an email because them motherfuckers always try to send you an email talking about oh you did this wrong or you logged out wrong no i didn't i did everything that i was supposed to do so right now we're gonna go get the girls teeth brushed oh and this is my brother's business go ahead and shop his stuff so soft best quality hoodie i've ever had y'all i buy packs and hoodies like i know and I still own more cities, so
Okay, y'all, so I'm currently about to take some medicine because your girl's on a cycle. And I just hit some ibuprofen. And my cycles have definitely got better since I've had kids. And I don't get my cycle every month. It's like because, because, because um, I have PCOS. And so it's really bad on my, my so and my FM it goes up as well. So I just, y'all, my house. <laughs> I do take my vitamins. So right now what I have is some Pringles, gummy bears, chest mix, and cuckoo, as what Kai will call. So I just am gonna put some Pringles, which I already have. And I'm gonna do them differently. So I already have Pringles over here. So, I'll just show you guys what I'm going to do for one of them. So, I got Pringles. And then I'm going to add some Pringles. Actually, I'm just going to do savory and then I'll use some flavor. So, this is what it looks like. So, I'll have that for one of them. And then I'll do the same thing. And then I'll make, when they're done with this, I'll make this, this one. Because I have some fruit roll ups and stuff. Ooh, that's the bread crumbs. Okay, love them some Pringles. And then I'll just put it right here when they're ready for it. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, they ate breakfast. I gave them cereal it's just something easy piece lemon squeeze i don't gotta think about it sometimes i'll cook sometimes i'll do that so right now i am gonna finish watching this vlog peyton charles posted i love that girl i've been watching her for a long time i fucked with peyton charles leah's face kyra Ominique, um rachel vin if you don't she's like a smaller youtuber but i fucks with her heavy she's just so relatable mariah Teresa, i fucks with her y'all know she watches okay y'all so it's currently 8 30 i'm gonna go ahead and click stop so i just need to log into my okay y'all i just took my first call it was about mm, 10 minutes so to speak um so i'm just waiting for another call it's friday so um usually fridays are pretty slow right we say that's gonna speed up so I have PCW time, which means at nine o'clock I can take a 30 minute break. And that break is to do like any trainings, respond to emails, any callbacks. I do my callbacks daily. Um, so if I get an email to call back, I usually call back when it's really slow, like between three and five. Um, so when I have PCW time, I can literally like do my trainings or just like listen to calls and stuff like that, which is on variant. Gotta call y'all. Thank you for calling me. Okay, y'all. So I just got a call. They they didn't. The name wasn't in my system, basically. But why do I not ask providers? Like, can I get the name? I didn't say your name. Why would I look for your name in the system when we talk about a patient? Come on. But so yeah, y'all. Um, I have twelve minutes, and then I go on PCW time. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna run to Starb Starbs down the block and I'm just gonna get something to eat because I'm on my psych psych, so I can't take it. I'm not gonna fast on there because that's just not even humane, even in Muslim culture. If you're if you're on your cycle, you can't fast. So, not that I'm saying I'm Muslim, Omar's Muslim, that's how I know that. So, yeah, y'all, so it's very much giving slow vibes, which I'm not. Okay, y'all, we heading to Starb Starbs. So, my car's in the shop right now. It's getting an oil change, so that's why I'm driving. I'm always driving this car anyway, but we don't have my car. I dropped it off yesterday, but y'all see that. Y'all see that. We'll see that in a vlog later this week. I am going to make sure I add my boost. Starbucks boost? 10% off? Are you dumb? Like, you better. Y'all better have cash shop. Any purchase I make, I make it through my pay, y'all. So I got my food and y'all, $3 off because I just, I did the boost. 
Cash up. Come sponsor your girl. Because I be telling everybody about these goddamn boost. Okay, y'all. So I just finished my food. And my dad just texted me. Oh, it's not that bad. He was just like, thank you so much for the card. I got him a card. But y'all see that in the vlog. But yeah. He was like, thank you guys. Um, I got a chai. Do you see how light skin this chai is? This is why I, I, I can't fuck with Starbucks sometimes. And I know I asked for extra chai because I have to ask for extra chai because they do you see so I'm about to make myself a dirty chai which basically means it's chai but it has coffee in it and I'm not a real big fan of Starbucks coffee like I can do a, a mocha I mean a, a frappe y'all I was not even filming this whole time basically I seasoned my stuff salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic garlic powder sappy mama but whenever i think of garlic i think of carisha when she was her and trina was on the podcast and she was like what kind of what do you season your steak with and she was like uh garlic <laughs> and i just put a little bit of oil and that's it that's all you made me want So Kaya started talking, so I'm just gonna go check on them. What's wrong? Why did you take? I made your bed and you took the thing off. Where's your bag? Where's your chips? What? Is, what do you say? Do you want a different snack? Okay. She didn't really care for her snack, so I'm about to make her put her pillow and stuff back up so she can be nice and comfy. And then this is Kaya's favorite snack of all times. Zaya just eats the white stuff. She doesn't eat. So I'm going to get that. Oh, mommy got you. Okay, let's set you up. Let's get your pillows back up, okay? Is it good? What do you say? I'm monkey. Monkey? They watch. Like, when I gave it to her, she was like, wow. Mm. Yeah. Okay, mommy's going back to work. I'll bring you guys some water and some juice in a little bit. So they got that. That should last them until 10. I got them another stack. Oh, I just love my kids. I'm glad that I'm able to do this for them. Um, so I got one lemon loaf and then one cheese danish. So they just split both of them. So that one can be later. Okay, hey y'all. So I am logging back into work. I don't know if y'all can see me. Y'all, get this. It's like a, um, oh, just an update on my job. So we used, we had a lot of people quit, y'all, in like day, in a day. So, um, we went from forty three people to thirty three people in less than like a day and a half. So I was like able to edit videos. I was able to do all that in between my calls. Now my our calls are back to back. So they have a new higher group. Um, right now, so our chat is at 45 people, and this is Alaska, Arizona, and Missouri chat. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, y'all, I've been able to, like, watch videos in between calls now. Not a whole video, but, like, you know, four minutes or something. So, let me log into my phone, because it's currently 9.30. And then, um, I'll let you know when I get my personal quote. And I might... Because I use this screen. This is like my backup screen that you guys are under. So, and I have this is trash. I have like my little book here that I write notes on. If I need to, like, it's something that I don't know and like I learn it, I like, like write notes and stuff. So, like, I need to redo this page because I ripped it. So, I have like global maternity, some helpful tools, how to like, how to um, know if you can buy and bill like the steps you need to take because that one was really challenging for me. And then I have like dental, um, I have my high profile training. Um, I am a high profile rep for a certain 
um, groups. So like Facebook Meta, I'm a high profile representative of C CPMG. Thank you for calling Maritain Help. My name is Helena. May I please get your name? Okay, y'all. Sometimes you guys ask how I can like be on the call, but the girls in the background, I just mute my mic so that if somebody like is on the phone, like Kaya, she, she's she's having a jolly time in her room. I just mute it while some they're talking. Fight scene. That's why they. Oh gosh. Say no, no scar. No, no scar. This girl is crazy. Y'all, I make their beds and look. No, no lion. Kaya. My name is Kaya. Doing some. Okay, y'all. Took a quick little break. Just like a five minute break so they could get out and run around. And I log back into work. So let's get her done. Is baby, and it's so slow. I'm so glad. Do you know how many times I gotta say thank you for calling Maritain Hub? My name is Helena. May I please get your name or may I please get your member ID number? And after every call, I have to spell out my name hyphenetically. <laughs> I love that for us. So I'm about to just keep watching Peyton Charles vlog and then we're gonna make it do what it do. So this is what the rice looks like and how much water I have. And I think the ratio is like two to one. I'm not sure, but this is what it's looking like. And then I let the water boil. It's like come to a boil. And then I put it on three. And then I let it sit for like 30 minutes. And then I just cover it. So, like you can see that it's about to start coming to a boil soon. Call. Thank you for calling Maritain Health. My name is Helena. May I please get your name? Okay, you guys. I just had one of the worst calls I've ever had in my life. And usually I just like freeze up, but this time I'm like, no. So a member calls in and you could tell like the member is irritated. So he's like, I want mental health benefit uh, mental health facilities in Tucson. So the follow-up question for me is, what's the zip code to Tucson? I don't know the zip code, I swear to God. So I'm like, okay, um, are you able to search your zip code? And usually I, like when they say that, I immediately pull out Google. Pulled out Google and he's like, there's fucking 49 zip codes in fucking Tucson. Sir, I don't live in Tucson. I don't need to know y'all zip codes. I don't care to, so usually we use the zip code from the member's home, but the member's in Tucson. You don't know where you reside? Even if you live in a hotel, you don't know the hotel zip code, but come on now. So he's like, I'm like, okay, well, I have to go to Google, search the zip code. Because when I typed in Tucson, Arizona, it wasn't coming up on my system. So I had to search zip codes in Tucson and Google, switch that to my Aetna platform to search. He's like, this is fucking bullshit. Like, you're, you're guys, you don't know how to do your fucking job. Like, this is so fucking stupid. Like, this is stupid. So after like so i'm just giving him the names and i was like well do you want me to email you a list because usually members and providers like their list to be emailed to them so they don't have to sit on the phone so he was like am i fucking on email or am i in my all in the fucking phone with you so i'm like you're on the phone with me he was like this is you're fucking stupid this is fucking bullshit so i'm just like sir this is the way my job works and i i this is the way it works so he was like you're fucking this is fucking re like he didn't say retarded. he was like this is fucking stupid so mind you at the 29 minute mark i'm like you know what sir i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this call because you're being extremely rude and i don't deserve to be talked like that and then i was messaging my supervisor because when so when you have to terminate a call i always message my team lead and like the group to let them know so they can listen to the call so he was like so right when i said that immediately he switched it was like a fucking new person on the phone. He was like, 
Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm going through a mental crisis. I said, sir, everybody's going through a mental crisis. I don't, that shit don't rock me how it might rock Susie, Bomb, and Joe. That is shit don't rock me because we all going through mental, mental shit right now. Don't fuck with me. Like, so then he was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It, it, I'm going to, can I, can I ask you a question? And I'm silent. Cause nigga, you didn't ask permission to ask me a question before. Why are you asking permission now? S speak your shit. So he was like, I'm sorry. I'm going through a mental crisis. That shit don't mean shit to me. So then he was like, so mind you, I'm messing in the chat, boop, 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 boop. Because I was like, sir, you cursed at me. You said I would, didn't know how to do my job, which I'm incompetent. Mind you, I'm a high profile representative on certain platforms, so don't fuck with me. And then I'm like, sir, I've been on the phone with people for hours, making sure they get their, it's like, your, your job is so stupid. You guys don't have a book, like a book of list of providers. I said, nigga, if, I didn't say nigga. I'm like, if we had a book, right? A facility can go in and out of network today, right? So say you call, 414 2023 and they're in network you can call 417 and they're out of network so why would we waste paper and print a list for them to be out of network and we have to check that list every every five minutes that doesn't make sense that's why it's on the computer so i'm trying to explain to the member that and he's like this is fucking bullshit i gave him one more chance i will hang up on you so then i was like you know what i'm gonna search arizona as a whole give you that and i'm getting off the phone with you he's like that sounds good thank you email him the list i didn't fucking get it yet i didn't it's like he switched again i didn't fucking get it yet i don't i was like sir i'm hanging up the call no 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 i'm so sorry don't hang up the call so he's like, i didn't get it spell my email again so i hyphenetically spelled it to him that's correct so I, then i sent it again i didn't get it fucking yet sir i'm disconnecting the call oh oh, oh no, no no i got it thank you for calling maritain health have a good day thank you so much like nigga fuck you like for real on People call in and they want to fucking curse you out and do this, this and that. I, I will hang up on you. I don't give a fuck if you're going through a mental health crisis, your mother died. I, that doesn't mean nothing to me because at the end of the day, we all going through raggedy ass. We all going through fucked up shit. That doesn't mean you get to call somebody's job and fucking harass them and call them stupid bullshit. You don't know how to do your job. Woo, woo, woo. But yet you going through a mental health crisis. But I'm supposed to sit here and be your punchy bag it's absolutely not absolutely not and this is a psa to all y'all because people out there that think that they can talk to customer service representative any way you want you guys calls are recorded therefore if i send a message to my supervisor they can terminate your contract with your health insurance so i've had represented a member called Maritain Health 15 times. Let me check the rights. 15 times and cursed out fucking everybody. I was one of them included. So I sent, we all had to send an email with the member's ID number, their name, their number, all of that. And the member got terminated from the health plan. You can't just call people and, and curse people out, call them all types of names and think that you're going to be able to be somebody. Somebody can be your punching bag. It doesn't go like that. So if you have any any um insurance company any bank account anything and you always call them they can terminate your contract through your employer so just be aware so if that guy calls multiple times and is rude and cursing people out multiple times he can get potentially terminated from his insurance plan through his employer so just be aware of that you guys because and i i'm about to listen to that call back because that call was fucking crazy. Z. But like I said, people think that, oh, you on the phone. And I guarantee he would never talk to somebody like that in real life. On God. So, I don't give a... Mental health, we all going through mental health situation. People die, we all go through that shit. That, there's nothing that moves me enough for you to talk to me like that. Thank you for calling Maritain Health. My name is Helena. May I please get the member's ID number? Hey, you guys. What's so editing? Editing Helena here. And I just wanted to go over the clip that you just seen of me venting of that rude customer. And I know it sounds like I was being really harsh. And y'all, I was literally sounding like a little child on the phone. I was so, like, nervous. You know when somebody, like, talks to you like that kind of startles you? And so I guess, I, I mean, you guys are saying that the 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 big energy but i was giving very much small energy over the phone but i definitely stood up for myself because um i understand everybody's going through a mental health mental health crisis 
but that doesn't give you the right to disrespect me. You feel me? Because I have talked to members on the phone that just lost a child and they trying to figure out how many, how much bills they're going to have. And they've not disrespected me. I've had mothers call their kidneys transplant kid, not even one years old. No, no disrespect. And they have a right to be disrespectful to anybody when you lose your child. So it's like, you're calling me. I don't go to your job and cause havoc. Don't come to my job and cause havoc. I understand people can get frustrated. I have definitely been a customer and been frustrated before, especially when AT&T played with my motherfucking bill. But it's like, I always get the starting line. I'm not irritated with you. I'm irritated at the company. And I always apologize if I even raise my voice. I don't even curse professionally. So it's like, you guys are saying like, very harsh and i was very upset because i was on the phone for 29 minutes with this member yelling cursing calling me stupid dumb all this and it built up over time so you guys are seeing the end result but i guarantee you guys i was not talking to a member like that because i would have definitely been talked to at my job um so i just was very much appalled and shocked how people can just disrespect people but like i said everybody's going through something please do not disrespect anybody you do not know what people are going through um especially with covid um people dying like mental health physical pain and it was kind of um i i've been thinking about my dad a lot and so it's just like you don't know what i go through sir and that's exactly what i say you don't know what i go through and we just really need to be mindful on how we speak to people because you don't know what people's mental health is even if you know the person you still don't know what somebody's really going through mentally so um i was definitely venting to you guys and i hope you guys don't think i'm cry cry because i feel like you guys heard me speak my opening line and that's how i talk and even when a customer is rude i try to be overly nice like oh okay i'm sorry about that this is not how may i help you can i i want to make sure you get off this call and you um are satisfied so if i don't i go above and beyond for my job and that's one thing that my supervisors and my managers have always told me like helena i can hear in your voice that you care about every member even when they're being rude to you and so that is this is just editing helena explaining that topic and explaining that situation to you guys so when you see this clip and you say thinking i'm a big doll i was very giving much chihuahua on the call so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time right when i got to work it was calls back to back to back um it's actually finally slowed down which i don't mind taking calls back to back to back because the time goes by faster so um yeah that call before my lunch really messed me up um so i'm trying to like get out of that bad mood um it's just really frustrating because you know i don't want to talk about it anymore but yeah y'all so it's currently 2 17 i have a little bit left on my shift and um am just chilling like a villain the girls are in their room watching incredibles 2 they w didn't even go in their they was in their room, but they will go out and go with their diddy. Like, they're not really, like... So, when I show y'all them, all the time I didn't show you guys them because they didn't have no clothes on, they was not in their chair. So, they, like... Kaya likes to lay in her bed, but she also likes to go in the bed with her dad. So, they just go back and forth to the room. Um, Sometimes they'll come out here and bother me, but it's very rare that they do that. So, yeah, y'all. Um, This job, I don't have any emails that I need to respond to i'm actually gonna look through my emails um from yesterday they're just call referrals um so they re um so when i mean i gotta check my email so when we send a call referral which is basically like say a claim was denied incorrectly we have to send a call referral to that department which is basically like an email so when they complete that call referral they tell us the verdict they email it to us so we send it via in CSI, which is our computer system, they send it back as the email. So if you were to send a call referral or an adjustment request, and they send it via email saying, say like it's denied or you need to send it to a different department, they send it via email to you, you gotta log back into CSI under that member's ID number and fix it. Some people don't do it, they just let it go, but I like to go and do that throughout the day because I don't want a member calling me back or calling the system back and <clears throat> the customer service representative didn't do what they were supposed to do. So sometimes you got to go back and forth with the like the, the um, person that chose to take or p picked up that call referral. You might have questions to ask them and all of that. So like 
Um, so this one, I already dealt with it. We already did that. I actually reached out to the the lady while I was on the call and we were able to re resolve that one. So this one, she was stating that the, I um, sent the claim back stating that primary EOB was attached on page three. So when I send that, then they send me an email back. Okay, thank you. Reprocess claim under this claim number stating that what I did was correct and the claim is going to get processed and paid. Whether that gets applied to the member's deductible or Maritain Health pays it or the claim gets denied, it was processed incorrectly. So, um, then I got my, um, my evaluations back for this week, which, um, it's like a month long thing. So, so, um, let's see. I got... I'm just pulling them all because they come in different tabs of different days. So, okay, that was for March. So, what was it? March? Yeah, March, I got all 98s and up. And then for April, I got 96 and up. So, April just started. So, yeah, y'all. So, Hopefully I can get a few like a hundred sometimes they do hear my kids in the background and I like I'll get points deducted, but it's very rare. So um, Yeah, so I don't have anything else to do um, So I'm just gonna go ahead and I already finished Peyton's vlog on my lunch break I had like a few minutes left. So I finished it. I'm about to chug this water because it's my second one of the day I want to drink four today Y'all, people just don't have etiquette. Like, this is crazy. Like, I, I like, okay, the way we get judged on our calls is how nice you are. Like, we get judged on a lot of things. But, like, if you say please too much, you get docked. If you don't say please enough, you get docked. So, basically, what I do is every few, like, questions I ask, I say please and thank you. I don't say it every question because it gets repetitive and it gets annoying. So, I don't say it every time, so when I do say it, you should probably say it back. Um, and I don't expect them to say it back all the time because usually I'm like going kind of fast and they want to get off the phone too. But when I say have a good day, you should at least say thank you, you too. Bye. Hey, y'all. So I currently put myself in break, y'all. I had a long, probably hour call. Crazy. Okay, y'all. So it's currently 4.23 and the girls are, they said they want ice cream. We went and got them ice cream. A few nights ago from Cold Stones, normally we go at once a week on Sundays and go to Minchie's, but they said ice cream. And girl, I was in pain, so I wasn't trying to argue with them. So we just got Cold Stones. Zai got cotton candy with gummy bears. Kai got strawberry and gummy bears. And let's just say we are going to have a diaper explosion tonight. All right. So I am, I just put the chicken in the oven. And y'all, my oven is messy, so don't say nothing. So I got the chicken in the oven. So I am going to go ahead and clean the girls' room because it's dirty and get it reset for tonight. Um, and I'm just going to put my phone back on the charger because it's giving dead vibes. Okay. <laughs> Zaya is washing her hands. Okay, y'all, so it is currently 4.58. Yeah. If you can see my watch. And we are all ready to go. Girls, come. So I got the girls. They are dressed. Yeah. They got their babies. My sister got them babies for Shutting down. 
and I'll take some thumbnails 